truly excuse the camera shake. I apologize. I'm not using any sort of like image stabilization. I'm actually just hand holding, so I'm doing my best. But uh, we're just taking a walk. This is where we like to go. Boat's back in that boat yard right in there. On the other side of that, a couple of those big buildings there, but there's Bellingham. This is the downtown. And then the college is up along there. Fairhaven's out that way. There, come pretty far. And we're heading back. That's why we come out here. It's just amazing. Those are the San Juan Islands out that way. This is the Bellingham Bay Marina. And this is my little deck. It's called Billy's Deck. Check that out, homie! Yeah! That's where we like to come and just kick back on the bench. A helicopter. That's the best I can zoom at. It's not that far out there, but I don't have my good camera. Someone made some art here, and then on the other side of that cement structure thing right here, on the other side of that, there's like this cool thing where they put all these poles, driftwood poles up. It's like a little forest, and there's a place to sit with a bench. It's quite nice. Nagi enjoys the view from the deck. Yes. What's up? We're hanging here. There's the view out here. I should give you a little more of the view this way. That's Bellingham Harbor over here. The bay is out here. Around the corner, here's where you take out where the boats are, where my sailboat is. And uh, yeah, we're just hanging out. She needed to get out. We spent the whole day kind of in the boat because it was drizzly like this. And just doing a bunch of things, putting in the high water bilge alarm. We did that install today. Just have the little piece that goes under in the build just at the certain level you want it at. I just need to connect the wires and that's it. Um, otherwise, what else? So we did all the hoses and uh, fixtures for the bathroom. That's totally taken care of and good to go for the sink and the water supply in there. And then uh, we also worked on the kitchen sink. It's for the foot pumps. I have one foot pump in the bathroom and I had to hose that, re-hose it. I did all the hoses new and then the faucet part um, that the foot pump pushed the water up to I did those soaked in muric acid kind of cleaned them up because they had a lot of corrosion and stuff I wonder if the lens is going to get a little drop of water on there it's starting to rain I'm going to have to pull this one because I don't want the camera getting wet um, it's not really a waterproof camera but um, yeah we got a, quite a bit done inside the boat today and uh, I'm happy the bathroom we painted one of the last little bilge areas in there um, and uh, so yeah, it's supposed to be sunny though the next few days, so I'm going to get back working on that rudder and the rudder hose shaft that came out of the boat, start get someone to look at that and see if it's bent or uh, if we need to do anything really to that. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it. We'll get back to you, but I'm going to kill the camera before the rain does. Come on, let's go. You got to go home. Come on. Come on. Oh, 
what we got going on here is we installed yesterday. We finished the install on this bilge pump. And uh, this, I had actually done a bilge pump in a couple videos back, but it just was the older one. So I bought a brand new one and we installed that. And then you'll kind of see on this wall here, see that little black right down there, that little black thing by the tip of my finger right there. You kind of see it. That's a high water alarm. So when the water in the bilge gets above the kicker switch and the bilge pump and can't keep up, this high water alarm goes off. It's 100 decibels. It's connected to the bilge pump over here. And, oops, all the wiring is in this water closet. It's right there up in the corner. So what we had to do though is yesterday we started on this thing, worked all day on it and figured it out that the this whole switch thing, something was wrong with it. It probably got, someone used it because one of the wires was loose in the back and fried it. So I had to go today and get a brand new one of these, reinstall that and uh, tried it out, everything, and it worked good. So uh, high water alarms in, bilge pumps in, and uh, yeah, task complete. What we do is uh, I did pilot holes in all these there's little, where the screws are along here, there's little wood plugs. And so what you do is you take a really tiny little drill and you drill center until you hit the screw that that wood covers. And then you come in with another screw. And what you do is you put this screw right in these, in these holes you made, right? And then you just slowly screw and it pulls. See, it pulls most of that wood out, at least enough that you can get to that, that screw there. So here, I'll go again. Oops. Go nice and slow. There, the slower we go, the more control we have. And then that way, too, you don't damage that screw head. So you can get those screws out. So here, we'll go again on this one. Again, I'm just right in those little pilot holes and just trying to get that. Oops, that's not good. <laughs> Distressed. Oh well. Ah. Oops. <laughs> ah. Here we go. So we put the screw in the, the drill hole we made and then nice and slow. There we go, right to it. But it just is a quick way to clean out those holes so we can start doing, because what we're doing is we're getting this whole panel, we gotta take all this off so we can put down our new Formica counter because what we'll do is router around here so it's a nice clean edge. Just enough. So I know you've heard me say right tool for the right job. And so I went, I got me a set of these little husky pick things. They almost look like dental tools. Um, but these things, I use them so much to try and grab something to, uh, get wood plugs out with. I mean, these things are indispensable. I've even broke a tip off, but I save it because it still works. Um, but I'll probably get a bunch more of these before I take off with home. Uh, Harbor Freight has a bunch of cheap ones that have really different tips and stuff. So, but we're going to use these to get the rest of the wood plugs out so we can get those screws out cleanly. And yeah, that's it. So there you go, I got a weird light on it. Sorry if it's flickery, but you can see what I've done, especially back here, you're not gonna be able to see without the light. 
I've taken all these screw holes and dug those little wood plugs out all the way back there to that back one. So I'll refinish this whole rail thing and basically put plugs in and then re-drill it all so it'll be fresh, clean, and nice. Uh, but that's where we're at. So next step is remove this railing. should come off. It must be glued on. Yes. It must be. Good. So, it's always that one damn screw that strips that holds up the whole thing. Anyways. See, that's Wanagi's bed. Look at how big it is. It's massive. It takes up the whole couch. Anyways. So I kind of close this all in over here. Probably, the sound's probably awful. I got fans going. Woo! I installed these fans, by the way. Check it out. Look. And then all the way over there, there's another fan. And look, there's the little dial thing. And then you got a switch, right? And the switch goes, I don't know if the, there's a red light. Can you see that? See the watch, the wall. See the red light? There's a red light on that, and then there's a white light too. And then the fan. So, but I actually should kill these since I'm sanding with fiberglass. So I'm not blowing fiberglass throughout my fucking thing. Anyway. So, sorry about the loud noise. It's a vacuum going. You can see the tube running in the boat right there. Up and in here. So, what I got going on in here. It's because I got the sink out, you see. And so what I'm doing is I'm using my sander, orbital sander, and I got my vacuum bag, vacuum hooked up to it. So, but what I was doing is basically the pink stuff on the wood is a fairing compound, and I was just filling in the fairing, or sanding the fairing compound. What we got going on right now, you can see the hose running in. I got my vacuum back there with the... Uh, that bucket thing has like a 90% dust collector, 95% or something like that. It says it does a pretty good job though. And then I got all this vacuum hose comes all the way into the boat. Okay, so the next thing is here in the bathroom I wanted to show you. So the bathroom's looking a lot better. I think I showed this in a little earlier video, but we finished the sink here. I did the all the hardware. I soaked in muric acid, which cleaned it up nice, got all the corrosion off of it. And then this here was one of the last places, the bilge, and I just painted it with a gray bilge coat down in there. And then you can see that PVC piece there and the plastic tubing coming off it. We broke a piece of PVC. So we had to add a connector, a brass fitting that goes to the new uh, water hose that comes in here to the sink. It's the fresh water supply to this sink. And so we painted that down in there gray uh, bilge coat. I'll show you. Oh, if I can reach it. So it's kind of like a little cabinet, you see? Toilets right there, but I'm using this for storage. So it's a cool little cabinet. But I just wanted to clean it up and paint it. It's a good place to put maybe some stuff to clean the toilets or back up toilet paper or who knows, stuff like that. So anyways, we kind of dialed that in. And then here, down here, I can get the clicker. We redid all, excuse the lighting, I redid all the the uh, water hose tubing. So it's to the kicker pump here, which we already redid all the seals and stuff to those. We uh, redid the through hulls. We didn't redo them. We, we took everything off and cleaned it all up, cleaned up the brass because they're still uh, really viable. Um, but uh, we're just, we completed the whole plumbing basically of the um, bathroom. So, voila.